All right, let's find a seat. Let's get busy. It is 9 a.m. And we're time to breathe. So take a full breath in. And a long breath out. And another full deep inhale. And a long, slow exhale. And we do this slow down, deeper inhales, longer exhales. So we can make a shift, a shift from everyday life to turning inward, to tuning into what the body has to say. It's easy to tune out the body. There's enough chaos and commotion going on around us that sometimes we forget to just slow down. So again, taking a full, big breath in and a slow, long exhale out and possibly taking a hand to the heart and a hand to the belly encourages the depth and the attention that we give to the inhale as well as the exhale. And you may immediately sense some grounding. That yin and yang, so maybe it's coupled with some lightness. Soften your eyes. And all that means is don't squinch your eyelids tight. Maybe flare your nostrils on your inhale. Give your nose a little wiggle. And then separate the teeth so there's some space there and you can release the tension in your jaw. Take another full breath in. And a full breath out. One more breath in, one more breath out. If you're seated, start to lift your arms up nice and high. If you're lying down on the ground, take your arms overhead for a full body sweep. And then join me on your seat if you're not already there. So good morning, let's start with some neck rolls and just start from the top down. So take a full breath in, let the head go back. Feel your heart lift as you gaze up toward the ceiling. And then on your exhale, bring the head straight down, chin to chest. Take a full breath in as you draw the shoulders back. Inhaling the head back up to center. Exhale, let it go back. Inhale, bring it back up to center and pause. And then taking your right ear toward your right shoulder, make this gentle. You don't have to have the ear touch the shoulder. If you do want to feel a little bit more, you could just gently rest the hand on top of your head and allow that left shoulder to drop down even more. You'll feel that all through your scalenes in your neck. We don't want to antagonize that, so just take a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Release the head if you have your hand on top, bringing your head back up straight. Full breath in and then exhale, let the left ear go toward the left shoulder. And again, you can gently rest the left hand on top of the head while drawing the right shoulder down. And if you pull your head forward just slightly, again, you'll feel that all through the scalenes at the side of your neck. Take a full breath in, stay seated tall, and a full breath out. Let go of the head if your hand is there and bring it back up to center. And then just nice and slow, let the head roll. Slowly, controlled, reverse the direction. And then pause, again seated, pulling into the low belly. 
staying strong through the spine. Find some length. Big breath in. Sweep the arms up. Let's twist toward the left. So the right hand goes outside the left knee. You can take the left hand to the small of your back. Work on opening up across the heart. Spreading through the collarbones. Take a big breath in. Release that. Come back up to center. Lift the hands up high. Exhale. Go the other direction. Left hand across the right knee. Taking the right hand to the small of your back will help you stay straight to the spine. Keep drawing that right shoulder back, staying open across the heart. Your head can continue to look right over that right shoulder. And then on your next breath, come back to center. Lift the hands up. Bring them right into your heart space. Pause. Okay, let's kick this up a little bit. If you're seated on a cushion or a block, put that out of the way. Let's get onto our mats. Coming right into downward facing dog. So spread your hands nice and wide, and we're going to press behind the index finger and the thumb pad, drawing the weight to the insides of the hands to take the pressure out of the outsides and the wrists. Lift your hips up nice and high. Oh, baby, it's been a few days since I've been in down dog. Pedal out your feet if that feels good through the hamstrings, pressing the hips to the back of the room. And then with a full breath, come up to your toes and glide forward into plank. Pause in your plank, set your feet straight up behind you, hip distance apart. Pull in and up to the low belly. Take a nice deep breath in and then exhale the hips high, downward facing dog. And you may wiggle and squirm in your down dog as often as necessary, but once your body gets used to what you're doing and why you are in this position, it'll settle down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale again up to your toes, gliding forward into plank. Pause and breathe. Keep lifting through the thighs and the low belly. Take another breath in and then exhale your hips high, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Settle. Let yourself ground. Be kind to yourself as you Settle into this down dog, head below the heart, breathing fully and completely. Now with your next breath, lift the right leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, plant it by your thumb, take a full breath in, sweep up strong for crescent. Exhale, bring the hands right back down and pause. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhaling again, use your core, rise up strong into crescent. Exhale, the hands back down. Bring the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise high to stand. Sweep up, maybe look up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come right down through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Walk your feet back out to plank and pause. Again, keeping your hips in line with your shoulders. So we're going to lower down through the vinyasa flow. If you want to take your knees down here, do it. Keep the elbows close to your side body and use your breath, exhaling the whole way down to the mat. Untuck your toes, press down to the tops of your feet. Inhale, drawing the shoulders back, open up across the heart, looking up in your cobra just a little bit. And then exhale, release, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Again, squirming around, pedaling out through your down dog, whatever is giving you the space and the peace to pause and to stay focused on your inhales and your exhales, breathing through these movements. Take a full breath in, sweep the left leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring that foot forward, plant it by your thumb. Take a full breath in, rise up strong and tall to crescent. Exhale the hands right back down. Pause, you're in a low lunge. Full breath in, full breath out. With your next inhale, rise strong again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Again, bring the right foot forward this time to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep up strong with your next inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Walk your feet back out to plank and pause. 
Take a full breath in your plank. Feel the strength coming up right from the ground through your mat, into your arms, through the feet. Now decide either you lower the knees or not and we'll rinse this off. You can always skip this and go right back into downward facing dog. Breathe and move according to what you're feeling. Deepen the breath as often as you can. This is creating some heat. It's lengthening your muscles, warming things up from the inside out. So trust that breath to take you from place to place. Take a full breath in as you lift up to your toes. On your exhale, walk, step, or jump your feet right between your hands. Take a full breath in for that halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up again, and this time on your exhale, sit your hips back for chair. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Keep your arms extended, and then if you'd like, bring your hands to your heart space. Sometimes the shoulders just don't like that so early in the morning. Take a full breath in in your chair and a full breath out. And just pause here. Again, maybe you're squirming around. Maybe it's a little uncomfortable. But breathe into your hips as they draw to the back of the room, keeping the weight in your heels. Keep pressing your heart forward into your thumbs if your hands are at your heart space. Take another full breath in. And then exhale forward fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Now you move and breathe as you choose to, whether that's through the vinyasa flow or skipping it all together and going right back into downward facing dog. Your choice. You know what you need this morning, but I'm encouraging you to let the breath be what's guiding you. Don't overthink it. Take your time and feel what's happening in your body. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Pedaling out through your down dog, reacquainting yourself. Take a full breath in as you lift the right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring it forward, plant it by your thumb. Take a full breath in as you sweep up strong for crescent. Bring your hands to your heart space and pause. Lean forward, getting long, staying high on those left toes, keeping the weight in the right foot. And then when you're ready, taking a full breath in, find a lightness and a lift as you push off that left foot, coming into warrior three with hands at your heart space. Pause in your warrior three, and now you may find that you're off balance and you want to take those left toes down, that's fine. Or if you really got it this morning and you want to stretch out and take the hands forward for the full expression, one more breath in. Rebend that right knee, take the left foot far behind you, sweep the arms back up for crescent, and then exhale as you open up into your warrior two. Pause here in your warrior two and get grounded. Your feet are in one lane now. Left toes point perpendicularly to the right foot that's straight ahead. Bend nice and deep so the knee stays stacked over the ankle. Draw the left thigh bone back and push out through the outside edge of that foot. Arms extend, but the shoulders stay relaxed. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Pull in through the low belly, dropping the tailbone just a little bit more. And then flip the right hand, big breath in, sweep up. Exhale into side angle. Sweeping and moving, keeping the legs strong. Ground it through both feet. Keep pressing out through the outside edge of that left foot. Turn the left hand around and bring it to the small of your back. Take a nice deep breath in. Maybe you can hinge a little bit deeper. One more breath in. One more breath out. With your next breath, rise back up into warrior two. Flip the right hand, sweep up. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Bring the left foot forward to meet the right foot at the top of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in for a halfway lift. Follow that breath down as you exhale. Inhale, come up strong to stand. Sit your hips back for chair. Tuck your tailbone, pull into the low belly. You know your hands can come to your heart if you need them to. Take a full breath in as you straighten up, lift up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, walk your feet back out to plank and pause. You choose, rinse this off, or we'll just meet back in down dog. And don't forget, there's always child's pose. You can take your toes to touch and open your knees up wide and just reground yourself. There's something safe and nurturing about child's pose, at least there is for me. 
and it gives me pause. I can't see anything. I just soften my eyes and let the lids close, and it reconnects me with my breath. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. If you're not in down dog, make your way back. Again, squirming or paddling out your feet as you need to. And then take a full breath in and we're gonna sweep the left leg out long behind. Bring the foot forward, plant it by the left thumb. I lost my train of thought. Take a full breath in as you rise up strong. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Pause. Inhale, find length. Lay out right over that bent left leg. And then using your breath, shift forward, coming into warrior three, lifting that left heel toward the sky. Your hips are square to the mat, so if you feel like you're opening up, see if you can drop that right hip point. Keep rotating that right leg so the pinky toe points down. And whether or not the foot has to touch to maintain your balance doesn't matter. Keep drawing your heart forward. If your arms extend, great. Start to re-bend that left knee, taking the right toes down. Come back to your crescent, lifting up strong, and then swiveling the right foot down. Let's come into warrior two on the left. Again, bending deeply into that left knee, but pressing out on the outside edge of the right foot, draw the leg back. Everything's opening here for your hips. Pull in through the low belly, take a nice deep breath in, let the shoulders release. It takes a minute to get grounded in these poses. So don't keep trying to rush things from breath to breath. Sometimes we take several breaths in the one pose. Spread all 10 fingers nice and wide. Shoulders stay stacked over the hips and then flip the left hand. Big breath in as you stretch back, but don't come out of the left knee. Exhale, come into side angle. The left elbow rests gently on the thigh and the right hand goes straight up. Now you're still drawing that right thigh bone back. You're drawing the right shoulder back. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Turn the right hand around, bring it to the small of your back. See if you can lean in just a little bit more, but opening up more across the heart. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Use the leg muscles. They're super strong, they can hold you. And then we're gonna use the core to lift back up, coming back into your warrior two. Flip the left hand, sweep up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot. Come to the right toes. Bring that foot forward. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Toe here, your feet apart. Take each hand to the opposite elbow. Release any tension in your neck and let your head just hang straight down. And you can sway a little bit right to left here in ragdoll. Pause here and just regroup. Come back into your inhales and your exhales. And know that you're being very kind to yourself because you're pausing when you need to. You're paying attention to what you're feeling. There's a brilliance to being able to tune in. It's like secret insider information. And when you learn to use your breath to regulate your emotions, to help you mentally and to bring some clarity, it works. You know it does because you keep coming back to your mat. I know it works because I keep coming back to my mat and I keep coming back to my breath. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Release your hands back down to the ground. Toe heel your feet back in. Take a full breath for a halfway lift and a full breath out for that forward fold. Inhale, sweep up strong to stand. Bring your hands right to your heart space, Tadasana. How are we doing? Are we breathing? Can you feel the grounding through your feet as you stand here in Tadasana? Maybe you open your hands by your sides, palms forward. Feel the shoulders roll onto the back. 
and a lift comes through the heart. Soften your face. And feel that breath move through you. With your next breath, bring your hands back to your heart space. Inhale, lift them high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Walk your feet back out to plank and pause. Bring your big toes to touch. Roll to the outside of your right foot, opening up for side plank. If that's too much, take the right knee down directly under your hip. Let the left foot be your kick, or that let that right foot be your kickstand. Full breath in, full breath out. You can lift the left leg. You can take the left hand forward. Just open and breathe. And then exhale the hand and the foot back down. Come back to plank and pause. Lower down one form at a time. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Push back up to full plank. Ground through your hands. Take a full breath in, toes are touching. Roll to the outside of the left foot or take the left knee down. Open up for side plank on this side. Breathe deeper. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. Allow your body to express itself the way the breath moves through it. Maybe that means lifting the top leg. Maybe that means taking the right hand forward. One more breath in. Bring the hand down. Let the toes come back to touch. And then lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Take a full inhale as you sweep the right foot out long behind you. Bring that foot forward, plant it by your thumb. Walk it to the outside of your hand. So both hands are on the inside. We're going to come down into lizard. Slowly release the left knee down, or if you want to stay up on the toes of that left foot, you can. If you have a block, you can put that underneath your forearms, lifting the floor to you. You can let the right knee roll open on the outer edge of that right foot to give you more space. Take a full breath in in your lizard and a full breath out. We won't stay here long. We're just breathing as deeply as we can as we go from pose to pose. One more breath in, one more breath out. Push yourself back up to your hands if you're on a block. Move it to the side. Bring that foot back in the middle of your hands and then rise high for crescent. Swivel the back foot down, open up into warrior two. Flip the right hand, sweep up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot. Come back to the left toes. Bring that foot forward to meet the right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise high. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart space and pause. Take a full breath in. Take a slow breath out. Feel the connection through both feet. Know that you're grounded and you're safe. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands. Walk your feet back out to plank and just lift your hips high. Go right back to downward facing dog. From your down dog, again, if you're squirmy and you need to pedal out your feet, creating more space, that connection that you need within your own skin to feel comfortable, you'll find it. And then you'll pause and you'll appreciate the stillness of this pose. You have the strength to do it. You do these down dogs every time you get on your mat. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale the left leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward. Plant it by the thumb and then take your time as you walk the left foot over to the left edge of the mat, bringing both hands on the inside. We'll find lizard on this side. You can stay up on the right toes or gently take the knee down. And then again, if you have a block and you need to bring your forearms to that, if they don't touch the floor, it's all independent of who you are and how your body is shaped. So don't freak out if you can't get down there. It's not about doing the pose right or wrong. Can you still take that deep breath? Can you breathe in so deeply that it's like, yeah, I got this. So be kind to yourself if that doesn't work. Keep drawing your heart and the crown of your head forward in this lizard pose. Don't collapse and just let go. 
you have a responsibility to yourself. You're the only one that can do this. I can give you all the cues in the world and all the directions, tell you how to do it, but you're the one that's doing it. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Come back up to your hands one at a time. Toe heel that left foot back into the center. And then with a big breath in, rise high for crescent and exhale immediately into warrior two. Pausing here and breathing. Right through the feet, connected to the ground. Inhaling energy and strength and maybe inhaling some kindness and patience for wherever you are, for whatever is happening in your body. I'm not even going to bother talking about our heads, right? Because they're probably still going a mile a minute in all different directions. That's not what this is about. Stay grounded. Stay focused in your warrior two. Flip that left hand. Sweep it up. Reach high. Exhale. Cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot. Come back to the right toes. Bring the foot forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. Crown and the heart goes forward. And then exhale. Release it. Inhale. Rise high to stand. Bring the hands back to your heart space and pause. You can keep your thumbs rested on your heart or open up your hands forward. Let your hands extend down toward the earth. Soften your gaze. Either look down the tip of your nose or just close your eyes altogether. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Be here in this moment. Settling down. Feeling what's happening within your body. With your next breath, sweep the arms up. Exhale your hips back. Come on into chair. You can bring your hands right to your heart space. Take a full breath in your chair and a full breath out. Get nice and low. We're going to twist toward the left. So take your right elbow outside the left knee. Keep drawing that left shoulder back. Use the breath to refine the pose. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Keeping the weight in your left foot, start to hover the right. Take a full breath in and then exhale. Let that right foot shoot out behind you, coming into twisted low lunge. If you want to open your hands here for a breath, you can. Bring the hands right back to your heart space and pause. Take a full breath in, sweep up strong for crescent, and then exhale, plant the hands. Take the left foot back to meet the right. Rinse this off any way you'd like. I'm going to sneeze now. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Not sure what's tickling my nose today. Breathe and move through your vinyasa. All right. Assuming you're back in down dog, take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Take a full breath in as you lift up to your toes. Exhale, look forward. Walk, step, or jump your feet right between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Follow the breath as you come back to stand. Hips go back on your exhale. Come back into chair. Hands can come to the heart space immediately, or you can take a couple of breaths in full chair. Inhaling fully. Exhaling completely grounding right through your heels and then bring your hands to your heart space if they're not already there lower your hips a little bit more laying out over your legs we're going to twist to the right so the left elbow goes outside the right knee keep pressing the right hand into the left to see if you can bring that leverage to help swivel your torso right around keep drawing the right shoulder back take a full breath in and a full breath out and you pause and you take your time, incrementally moving with the breath. So inhaling, keep the weight in the right foot. Start to hover the left toes. Stay strong. And then with another breath in, exhale that left foot out long behind you. Pause for just a breath. If you want to open up your arms on this side. And then bring the hands back together. Take a full breath in as you rise high for crescent. Swivel that back foot down. Come on into warrior two. 
Take a full breath in, flip the right hand, inhale, sweep up, exhale, hands go down to frame the foot, pause on your left toes, take the right foot back to meet the left, move through your vinyasa. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. As you pause in your down dog, you can stay here for several breaths or you can bring your big toes to touch and take your knees wide. As you come into your child's pose and you let yourself release from the rhythm of your inhale and exhale with movement to just the inhale and the exhale. Let that bring a wash of release. Because now you're not doing two or three things at once. You're just inhaling and you're just exhaling. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. From your child's pose, come on up to your fingertips. Pretend you have tennis balls underneath your hands, so really activate each digit, pressing through the fingertips. And then sweep that right hand up nice and high. And on your exhale, thread it underneath the left arm, laying right onto the right shoulder. Turn the right ear toward the mat. Stay up on the left fingertips. If you want to take the left hand on top of the right, you can gently draw that right shoulder back, maybe finding a little bit of a deeper twist. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Bring both hands back to the top of the mat, staying on the fingertips. Inhale, sweep the left hand up high, opening up the heart. And then exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right, turning the left ear toward the mat. Let the weight of your body press into that left shoulder. And then if you want to take your right hand on top of the left, of the left you can. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more breath in, one more breath out. And then bring both hands back to the top of the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Let's find our way back to downward facing dog. Take a full breath in in your down dog and a full breath out. Maybe you've noticed that the squirming and the wiggling has settled down. Maybe now when you get right back into your down dog, this is just where you need to be. So appreciate that. Take another full inhale and a slow exhale. With your next breath, sweep the right leg out far behind you. Bend at the knee, stack the hips, roll open. You're welcome to stay right there or flip it over into a flip dog. Reaching that right hand to the front of the room. And then following your breath, bring it back around, come back into down dog. Pedal out your feet, pause and breathe. Inhale the left leg straight up behind you, bending at the knee. Again, opening up the hips toward the left. If you flip it, that's fine. Take the left hand forward. And then with your breath, pull in through the belly, turn yourselves back into a downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale the right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring it forward. Let's come right into warrior two. So the right knee stacked over the right ankle. Keep pressing out through the outside edge of that left foot. Open up the right hand, sweep up. Exhale into side angle. Left hand goes high. Keep pulling into the low belly, drawing your shoulders back. Maybe you take that right hand forward and bring the left hand over to meet it like you're holding a beach ball. But keep drawing that left shoulder back if you're doing this. A lot of core work here. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Bring yourself back up into warrior two. Flip the right hand, sweep up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot. You move through your vinyasa flow as you need to. So pause in your plank, make sure that the heels are high above the uh, toes and then choose to take the knees down rinse it off, or just shift the hips up for downward facing dog. Those vinyasas are designed to create some power, 
They move you from place to place, building heat quickly. I'm sure you know that. You can feel it. And sometimes we need that little power boost, but sometimes we just need to skip it and go back to down dog. So let the breath be your indicator. Take a full breath in in your down dog. Open your mouth. Sigh it all out. Inhale the left foot straight out behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, planted by your thumb. Full breath in as you rise up strong for crescent, and then open right up into warrior two on this side. Take a full breath in, flipping the left hand. Sweep up. Exhaling into side angle. Right hand goes straight up. Pause and breathe. Stay light with that elbow on the knee. And then if you want to take that arm forward and bring the right hand over your right ear, palms face each other. Use your core. Breathe in. Rotate open. And then with your next breath, come on back into warrior two. Flip the left hand. Sweep up. Exhale. Carbill the hands down. Frame the foot. Step the left foot back to meet the right. And you move through what you need. Your little power sequence of the vinyasa flow. Skip it all together. Go right back to downward facing dog. None of this is perfect. Our yoga practices are meant to be imperfect because it gives us something to work on. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Sometimes that's a necessary thought process to go through. We don't always have to be the best on top of everything, doing what we're supposed to be doing and spinning all these plates. Sometimes we spin so many plates and take our eye off the prize. It becomes more important that we're spinning plates than it is letting them slow down and stacking them neatly in the corner. It's nice to have nothing to do and learning that. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale the right leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, plant it by the thumb. Full breath in as you rise up for crescent. And then exhaling into warrior two. Flip the right hand, sweep it up. Exhale in the side angle. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. From your side angle, start to straighten that right leg, allowing the right hand to glide down the shin, coming into triangle. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Turn that left hand around, bring it to your low back. Again, just encouraging that left shoulder to open up some more. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Rebend the right knee, lift yourself up back into warrior two, flipping the right hand, breathe up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot, come to the left toes. Bring the left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Big breath in, rise tall to stand, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, keep your hands down. Take your right foot to the back edge of the mat, keeping that left knee stacked over the ankle, rise high on your breath, and then exhale into warrior two on this side. Get grounded through your feet, make sure you have your stability, check in with your breath, and then flip the left palm, inhale, sweep up, exhale into side angle, slow and steady, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Pause here, and then when you're ready, inhale, start to straighten that left leg, letting the hand glide down, staying open just a little bit more in your triangle. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. And then with your next breath, re-bend the left knee, come on back to your warrior two, flip the left hand, sweep it up. Exhale, forward, uh, forward fold. Cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot. Come to the right toes. Bring that foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Big breath in as you rise to stand. And then exhale, release that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Walk your feet back out to plank and pause. So that might have been enough movement for you, and you can go right back to down dog, or you finish it off with your little power vinyasa flow. Your choice, always. 
Take a full breath in and a full breath out. We're gonna come into pigeon now. So take a nice deep breath in as you lift that left leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, but to put the knee down behind the right wrist and let the right ankle sweep over behind the left wrist. Take a full breath in as you lift up, stretching. And then when you're ready, exhale forward, laying right out over that bent leg. You can release that left knee down. Just keep the top of the left foot firmly planted on the mat so it's not sickling in. If your forehead doesn't make it to the floor, stack your hands. And then take several breaths here in your pigeon. Allow yourself to find some comfort. There is comfort in pigeon. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Pigeon doesn't have to be suffering. Pigeon is just a pose. If you need to focus on something, come back to your breath. Let it just be an experience to pause and be in this pose. You don't have to attach anything else to it. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. On your next breath, start to walk your hands back in and up, but just sit on the right hip and bring the left foot forward and cross it right over the top of the right. Oh, that says good morning. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. You don't have to go too far. This is an intense hip stretch. Keep your feet flexed, please. Sit tall, take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more breath in, one more breath out. Sit tall, shoulders come back, feel the crown of your head lift. Nice and slow, start to extend that right leg out in front of you, again keeping the foot flexed and allow the left foot to come to the ground. Hug that left knee with the right elbow. Inhale, sweep the left hand up and then bring it behind you, opening up, twisting toward the left. Again, keep that right foot flexed. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Come on back to center. Both legs out long in front of you. Wiggle out your legs. Flex your feet. Point your toes. And then bring your knees in and come on back into downward facing dog. Full breath in and a full breath out. And we'll find pigeon on the other side. So sweep the left leg out long behind you. Exhale, bringing the leg forward, placing the knee gently on the mat behind your left wrist and take the foot over behind the right. You know where you're going. With that right leg out long behind you, again, keep the top of the foot firmly planted on the mat so the foot doesn't swivel. And then take a full breath in as you lift up and exhale, hinge out over, getting nice and long, stacking the hands if necessary to rest your forehead. And again, you just give yourself a few moments to settle in, taking several breaths, keeping that as your focus. And maybe the experience on this side is completely different than the other. Just pay attention that you're not in pain, because if you're in pain, you should back out. And if you truly hate pigeon in this form, you can lay on your back and just cross your ankle over your knee. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, continuing to just stay. There's no rush.
Take another breath in and another breath out. We know where we're going, so slowly start to lift up onto your hands. And then sit over onto the left hip, bringing the right leg out long in front, crossing right over the top of the left. Keep your feet flexed. Sit tall. Breathe in, breathe out. Let the head lift and the shoulders release. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. And if you're interested in hinging forward, that's fine, but it's really intense. I don't have to go very far at all. Just sitting here like this is a plenty for me. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. And then nice and slow, extend the left leg straight out. Keep that foot flexed and allow the right foot to come down. Reach forward, hugging that right knee in with the left crook of the arm. And then sweep the right hand up nice and high. Bring it down behind you like a kickstand. Opening up your heart toward the right. Flex that left foot. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, come back to center, straighten the legs, lift the hands up, bring them right to your heart space, pedal out your feet once again. We're almost done. Stay with me. Bend your knees. Let's just take a few breaths in both. Inhaling, lift the feet up. Pull the heart forward. Shoulders go back. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's just hold both and breathe here. We're in this together. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You're resting on your sitting bones, nice straight spine, shoulders go back, lift through the heart. And you don't have to hang on to the backs of your legs. You can take your arms out by your, the sides. You could lift them. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. We're almost done. Remember what I said before, sometimes we just pause and breathe through the pose, that's what we're doing. We're pausing in the pose, but we're not pausing the breath, we're breathing through it. So take another breath in, and another breath out. Release the feet, allow yourself to roll back onto the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll right to left. Keeping those knees tucked in nice and tight. And then pause as you center onto your back and push the heels straight up toward the ceiling. Your arms can be right down by your sides. Small bend behind your knees. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Just noticing how the body shifts and the energy changes when you're in an inversion. Legs high. If you wanted to put your hands underneath the back, back side of you to prop your hips up just a little bit, you could do that too. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Just one more minute. You can feel all that energy coming down your legs, flooding your heart. It's resetting your nervous system. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. So nice and slow, start to bend your knees one at a time, bringing them back into your chest. Wrap your arms around them. Give yourself a great big hug. Again, rolling right to left. Feels nice on your low back. And then pause. And then open up your knees and reach for the outsides of your feet so you can come into a happy baby. Keep the foot flexed like you're going to put footprints on the ceiling. And then allow the weight of your hands to draw down on the outsides of your feet. Keeping your shoulders connected to the mat. 
And if you notice, your entire spine is on the ground, from tailbone right through the crown of the back of your head. Just open up and let go into this happy baby. You can still rock here, right to left. Sometimes that feels nice as well. And then bring both knees back into your chest. Hold tight to the left one. Extend the right foot nice and long. Take the right hand to the left knee. Draw it across the body. You can take the left hand palm down and look over the left shoulder. Getting a full twist here. Again, always being conscious of the breath. The experience of it moving through you even when you twist yourself into different postures. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Come back to center, bring that right knee into the chest, extend the left leg long, left hand to the outside of the right knee, draw it across your body, you can take the right hand out to the side, palm down, looking out over that right shoulder. One more breath in, one more breath out. And then we turn to the back. Bring both knees back into your chest once again, giving yourself a hug, rolling right to left. And then you have your choice for Shavasana this morning. You can either go traditional and just lay down flat on your mat, or if you have a bolster or a pillow or a blanket handy and you just want to gently prop that underneath your knees, that can feel really nice, takes the pressure out of your low back. So I'll give you just a moment to figure out which is best for you. If you're lying flat on your back, you take your right foot to the right corner, you take your left foot to the left corner, let your feet display open. There's no muscle engagement now. It's just rest and relaxation. Take your hands away from your side body, palms up, roll your head right to left, and then when you settle right on the back of your head, drop your chin. Soften your eyes. Actually, if you have a cloth nearby that you can just cover your eyes with, that's even better. If you've got a blanket or bolster or pillow propped under your knees, again, just let your legs soften right into that. And then we'll take a full breath together and a full breath out. And one more full breath in together and one more full breath out and I will ring the chimes when it's time to come out. Shavasana.
start to deepen your breath. Bring a little movement into your fingers and your toes and then gently press one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And just stay there with your eyes closed for a moment. I wanted to share with you a reading as we close class today. It's called Experience Your Life by Pema Children. A woman is running from tigers. She runs and she runs and the tigers are getting closer and closer. She comes to the edge of a cliff and she sees a vine there. So she climbs down and she holds on to it. Then she looks down and she sees that there are tigers below her as well. At the same time, she notices a little mouse gnawing away at the vine to which she is clinging. She also sees a beautiful little bunch of strawberries emerging from a nearby clump of grass. She looks up, she looks down, she looks at the mouse. And then she picks a strawberry and pops it in her mouth and enjoys it thoroughly. Tigers above, tigers below. This is the predicament we are always in. Each moment is just what it is. Resentment, bitterness, holding a grudge, preventing us from seeing and hearing and tasting and delighting. This might be the only moment of our life. This might be the only strawberry we'll ever eat. We could feel depressed about this or we could finally appreciate it. And we could delight in the preciousness of every single moment. So regardless of what's going on around you, whether there's tigers above you, below you, outside your front door in your backyard. When you get on your yoga mat and you come into your breath, savor it, enjoy it, appreciate it, and delight in the knowledge that you can take that breath right off your mat to help you deal with whatever tigers you have in your life. The light and truth in me sees that in each of you. So grateful for all of you your attention, your participation, your dedication to yourself and to balance. Together we say, Namaste.